Jesus. You may be seated. Our viewers from Lusaka, we acknowledge your presence. We thank God for your life, that you are there for us, and we are here for you. Spiritually, we are together. We are in the same place. What we are receiving here, you too, you are receiving your own. And those who are also watching us on YouTube and Facebook, we thank God for your life as well. Continue receiving what is destined for you through this broadcast. Let's go to the book of First Corinthians, chapter 2, verse 4. I'll just read 4, 5, then I'll jump from there to verse 13. Or verse 12. But let me start with verse 4. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with demonstration of the spirit power. Five, so that your faith might not rest on human wisdom, but on God's power. Did you hear the, 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 the scripture? Okay. Let me repeat my reading. My message and my preachings were not wise and persuasive words, but with demonstration of the Spirit's power. Five, so that your faith might not rest on human wisdom, but on God's power. What is the meaning of this? Simply means, me as a human being, I can encourage you with the word, and another person can encourage you with the same word. And it may sound so good and so healthy when you are listening to those words. But if the words that you are receiving from me as a human being has no power, I'm just, you know, saying things that will not be there. You remain in the same situation and the same conditions. And most of the time, the word of God, when you hear it from the Spirit, it doesn't make sense to those who are wise enough in this world. This is why the Bible says that my message and my preaching were not wise, meaning to those who are wise enough or according to the standard of this world, the message from the cross is nothing but useless. What can make you to believe in this message? Listen to this. This is verse 5. So that your faith, oh, I jump before I, I, I go there. But with a demonstration of the spirit power. The spirit what? Power. The voice of every child of God is empowered by the spirit of God. The word that you speak to your brother, your sister, anyone who is listening to you, this is where you know we need to be very careful with what we say as Christians. Because Anything that will come out of your mouth as a child of God, it may not, you know, sound good to the people of this world. But to those who are listening to you, that word is pregnant with the power of God. 
When you finish talking, you see the movements of the power of God. It's either in your business, in your marriage, whichever area where you need that word. Praise the Lord. I hope and trust by the grace of God you understand this. Verse 5. So that your faith might not rest on human wisdom, but on God's word, power. Meaning there are two wisdoms now. The word of wisdom from a human being and the word of wisdom from God Almighty. And that word from God Almighty comes with a solution because it, it carries the power to solve that problem. And then the wisdom from your fellow human being just encourage you. No, Firinokwa Fewin. No, Fiala Wafiwin. Remember what happened to that woman, a Shunamite woman. The man of God said, next year by this time. Next year by what? But he, he did not, you know, say those words that may sound so good. And so, he said, next year by this time, you'll be a mother. And he ended there. Because the word was pregnant with power. As it was said by the man of God, it came to pass. We should not depend on human wisdom. Those are empty words. They can tell you to say, no, everything is okay. Uh, everything is fine, fine. Everything is good. But at the end of the day, nothing is fine. But when God talks through his children, even where you could not see anything, tomorrow you see the sign that, yes, something is on the way coming. Praise the Lord. I hope, I hope and trust that you hear this message with your heart. My message and my preaching were not wise. How? It sounds, you know, like something which is just encouraging. No, if you And yet, Why? Oh, God is in control. There are others who would want to hear more than that. Tell you about God is in control. Na chirafu avalande pofumo pala ifi andi. If you are a satalandi, because nga nga nambo kula ndefi mule fwaya timunfwe, you will not receive any answer. You continue searching and searching for that solution. At the end of the day, you find yourself in the house of a witch doctor. Because men and women have spoken good words about your life. But nothing, nothing that, you know, will come to pass. Are you going to trust them? The answer is no. But the sangalanda fe wedinga imo. God is in control. I remember one of our sisters. When she was, you know, testified. She never said this to me or complained to me. I just heard this from her when she was giving a testimony. She came for prayer. I stood up, I grabbed her hand, and I touched her stomach through her hand. I said, in Jesus' name, thank you, mommy. God bless you. You are blessed by God. She looked at me. Inside her heart, she said, ah, Confuminobu talipe po kunje ba mwepe po edi pifi e state banji kate ba pe ba pose kona ngwa tristi ten minutes so that I can feel what the power of God. I said, my sister, God bless you. What next? What she was you know looking for for years and years before you know it. Here are the signs. She said, ah, is that true what that man said? He said, God bless you. You are blessed by God. Let me see. Mm, another week, another month, and ah, the next thing is the testimony. Umuntu kuti alanda, ifile upalana kofimofine, nefio lesa alandile. Badi upusano mubapo, ifile ando umuntu tafileta ansa. Ifile andale sefile tenshi, ansa. 
because muba maka ya kwa nani aya kwa lesa but mulo mfabu ino kumyeba mashu ino yes yes pastor yes ifufine fecha wapo tamara ndeko na fimbi because mulafu ayo kumyumfu ishabu ino you don't want to hear the word that can bring solution to your problem all what you want to hear is sweet words sweet words yes nabalanda 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 if you say, God bless you, my sister, God is in control. You say, ah, no. But you are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be What type of blessings? Once you say, you are blessed, just go and trust his word. But I don't know why we trust ourselves more than our creator. I want you to know this, understand this, verse 4. My message and my preachings were not wise and persuasive words, but with demonstration of what? Spirit what? Power. So that you, your faith might not rest on human wisdom, but on God's word, power. Meaning anything, any word from God is power. And you cannot understand this without the Spirit of God. Let's go to verse 12 and 13. What we receive is not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. You get the point there? What we receive is not the Spirit of the world. Meaning, in the world, there is a Spirit that controls what? The world. And when that spirit speak, that spirit cannot, you know, uh, stand for the truth. We receive the spirit from where? So that we understand what God has really given to all of us freely. So without the spirit of God in you, my preaching, my message is not wise. My words are not persuasive words, meaning they are not sweet to your understanding. You will get nothing but complaining. I thought this man would do this and that. It is the power, when you hear the message of God with all your heart, you are attracting the power of God to enter your life, to enter your house, to enter your mind. And check who is there. Is it the spirit of God or the spirit of this world? If it is the spirit of God, the demonstration of power must be seen through your body. Praise the Lord. This is 13. This is what we speak. Not in words taught us by human wisdom but in words taught us by the Spirit, explaining spiritual realities with the Spirit taught words. Yes. For you to understand this, you learn from the Holy Spirit. You learn from where? Our freedom and our strength is not from any human being. Leaders of this world can encourage you. Leaders of this world can say whatever they feel to hook your mind. But their words are empty promises. But whatever word that you hear from God Almighty is pregnant with answers. It is only you to take it or you leave it. God cannot force you. It's either you take it or you leave it. The wisdom of this world is coming to nothing. It is only the wisdom of God that can give you rest and enjoy that life. Don't carry the message like history of this world. The word of God is power to give you rest, to give you freedom. Ah, 
nachia ku church mwasambili la kwensha tini ndaba what are you doing inside the church if you go to church you cannot even you know remember the scripture how are you going to meditate how are you going to end that night how are you going to fight your enemy who are on the other side if you cannot just remember a simple chapter and a short verse you say nindaba there you know that the message we preach as children of god is not wise or with persuasive words to the people of this world not until when you see the demonstration of what power when solomon was dedicating the house of god to god almighty people were watching him to see is this what is, this man is doing here he prayed he prayed and prayed after you know everything fire came down from heaven and the people are standing there on the pavements because of what they saw they go on their knees because they saw the demonstration of what power there are people who could not believe of what you are saying not until they see the power of god i remember years back one of our our, our, our brother invited the family members who came to sorry my message is is very short when i entered uh, uh, you know the church she looked at me and uh, you know she looked at the, the crowd you know sunday every sunday we are 1000 2000 3000 every sunday she looked at me and said ah, is this the pastor the one who brought her he said yes he said i'm disappointed he said but what no the man is too small look at the crowd it's too small. Hmm? Me, I was busy preaching, not knowing that behind the, the, the uh, you know, everything, someone was underletting me to say, the man is too small. What can he do with all these, you know, people? Eh? Me busy preaching, preaching, preaching. I, I'm sure the, 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 the person in question was not even paying attention to what I was saying. He was looking at my statue and the dress code. Sometimes we dress like here as if we are going to the garden because we understand the battle we are in. But after the sister encountered the power of God, he said, ah, I was wrong. He's a man of God. Why? The demonstration of power made the sister to believe that, yes, no wonder why the cloud is like this. Jesus lives in him. Jesus controls this place. I was mistaken by, you know, underletting him, you know, through his, you know, hired. Stop forcing people to believe in you. Just must demonstrate what? The power of God. If people are able to see the power of God, you are not going to say to them, oh, come, hey, come and see Jesus walking. No, let them see the power. Let the power call them. Let the power say, come, you receive your own now. Even when they are coming, they will come with that confidence to say, yes, I know. The power of God is there. I remember years back when I was going to school. We just entered the church with a, a lot of, you know, Zambians and other foreigners. Because of what they saw on Emmanuel TV, there's no need for anyone to encourage them to say, look, where you are going this. No. Others were just saying, immediately I step my feet on that land my situation will be over. That was their prayer. Please, I want to see Skwan. When, when are we going to reach Skwan? I said, we are very close now to the place. Okay. Inside their heart, they, they, they are burning to say, once I step my legs in, on that synagogue where that TB Joshua, you know, perform me, my situation will be over. Ha, ah, do you know what happened? We just entered where is TV I want to see you now. I said, yes. Demonstrating the power of God is enough for anyone to believe that Jesus is the same. Yesterday, today.
day and forever. There is no need for you to tell anyone to say, you know Jesus, he died for you. The power of God will do his job. People were vomiting. Manifesting all over. said, ah, so to achieve one of my problems, Mundeke. Then they are landing on a window window. I will land that in Ghana. Chimu Paila, Munshira Shuku. I say, Jesus, you are wonderful. This is what you know Jesus came for. Ichebo kutichia umfuika, bowling, because sometimes we enjoy, you know, those messages where you feel like they are just energizing your, your feelings. But after the service, you find the same situation waiting for you. But if you can demonstrate the power of God, you may feel lonely now, but in the few minutes, you not even, you know, <laughs> I uh, think that someone is waiting for you. Come walk on where MP and stay touch. Malasa, I wish I wish I could message in 10, 10, 10, 10. 5,000. Hello, I'll be in 500. Are you going to be sad? Yes, why? Because why should I'm going to now? Paku Ficata Mafike, Fidiat Muleve in Derela. That is the power of God we are talking about. God is a problem solver. God is what? He's a problem solver. If you depend on him, you believe in him, he will show his power through your body. He will do what? You, the way you, you know you are sitting down quietly, your spiritual life is not, you know, uh, quiet. Something is going on. When the power of God entered you, your life, that's when you realize that, ah, ah, of all this time I thought, uh, I'm just, you know, okay. I trust Jesus. I trust Jesus that he would demonstrate his power through your body as a message to the world and to those who are doubting Jesus in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you.